In this example, we're going to factor this algebraic expression by simply factoring out the greatest common factor. So let's go ahead and find out what that is and then factor it out. So the first thing I notice is that I lead with a negative, so I'm going to go ahead and factor that negative out. Let's look at the numbers next. 48, 24, 60, and 12. Well, 12 is the smallest of these numbers, and I wonder if 12 will divide all of these evenly. Well, 12 times 4, 12 times 2, 12 times 5, yeah, so I can actually factor out a negative 12. So let's go ahead and next look at my variables g and h. So we want the smallest as long as g appears in all of them, which it does. So 8, 6, 4, 2, so g squared. And h uh, does exist in all of them, so 3, 4, 5, 6, so h cubed will be the smallest. So negative 12 g squared h cubed will be the greatest common factor of all four of these terms. So let's now go ahead and divide it out of each of these four terms. So negative 48 divided by negative 12 is positive 4. And when we divide variables, we just subtract their exponents. So g to the 8th divided by g squared, 8 minus 2 is g to the 6th h cubed, h cubed. Okay, so all that comes out, so I don't have to put h at all. So negative 24 divided by negative 12 will be positive 2. And g to the 6th divided by g squared, we can subtract the exponent, 6 minus 2 is g to the 4th. h to the 4th and h cubed, 4 minus 3 is just 1, so h. Positive 60 divided by negative 12 will be negative 5. And g to the 4th divided by g squared, so 4 minus 2 is 2. And h to the 5th divided by h cubed is 5 minus 3, so h squared. And finally, negative 12 divided by negative 12, that'll be plus, so plus 1, but we won't write the 1. So g squared and g squared, okay, well that, don't have to write that either. So h to the 6th divided by h cubed should just be h cubed. So here we have the factored form after I factor out this greatest common factor. And once again, you can always go ahead and distribute that back through and just make sure you get that initial expression.